I'm just, I'm nervous, Craig. What are you nervous about? Everything. All of it. <laughs> there. Whoa! See, I told you, it's oh. scary, man. It's like a dragon. <laughs> Last time I heard a dragon, that's what it sounded like. I'll yeah, tell you what. It. I got the recorder on my cell phone. My cellular device. If you don't believe me. <laughs> All right, I think we're good. <laughs> so you want to explain what you just did? Nah. Okay. Really Let's hold them like in it. suspense. Yeah. I mean, they can guess. <clears throat> uh, we're just um, just turning the stove on to get the cream going while I'm putting trays and stuff so that. Uh, you mean uh, you're gonna the uh, cream going? <clears throat> I had a professor. Why in did college. you edit it to sound like that, man? <laughs> I had a uh, professor in college where he would sometimes if his voice cracked, he'd be like. Yeah, so the femur bone, I mean, uh, the femur bone, <laughs> he would like go back and make a really deep voice. Like, ironically? No, yeah, like, he, he was okay, kidding, right, yeah. Right. <laughs> it was like, wow. Like, every time his voice cracked. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those things, man. That was the biggest lie they told you in school, that your voice would stop cracking. <laughs> like, yeah. Or, you know, maybe I just have a couple more years of puberty left. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, we just wanted to get that going because it takes the cream like, if you're doing a full batch, it takes like an hour and a half to cream up the top, so mm -hmm. why stand around if you don't have to? Oh, the old thing, guys. <laughs> the ancient American proverb says, <laughs> why stand around if you don't have to? Why stand around watching your cream get warm and you can warm it up while you're drinking your, your starch trays? That's on the dollar, isn't it? Yeah, I think Benjamin Franklin said that. Yeah. The best American president. Yeah. <laughs> He's coined some of our greatest terms. Yep. Plus he likes Pam, so. Yeah. You know he's good. Uh, this is kind of a weird tray. It like sits further back than the rest. So I'm not sure like how close it's gonna be to the edge of the tray. So how come you always have to lower it a little bit instead of just leaving it up? Um, I actually don't lower it. It's just uh, the weight of the tray brings it back down. Okay. So I'm actually trying to keep it from getting lower. Um, mm -hmm. So I'll hold it up and just very gently let it down. Mm. Otherwise it'll come down, crashing down onto the cream. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it'll actually, it'll crack the trays right in half, man. Yeah. The building will shake. Oh yeah, we like, Max, not again. put a hole in the floor. <laughs> it's terrible, man. It's super yeah. scary. The last time we thought the, the minivan came through the front, it was actually me just dropping this. Oh. Yeah. So that was the first uh, cream eggs printed in 2020, correct? These? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, first ones, man. Please witness history. Annual history. <laughs> this is actually the first President's Day of this year, too. If, oh. if you didn't know. Yeah. Yeah. Man, it's, it's kind of exciting. Like, we still have, like, two whole months left. But uh, we're almost there, man. Yeah. It's almost over. What are you going to do for President's Day? Make a lot of executive decisions, <laughs> or uh, I don't know, start a war. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna work all day. <laughs> all right, and for all you folks using your, your starch press at home, remember you don't want to press in too much. Just just enough for the depressions to be made. Otherwise, you'll collapse all your cups. Otherwise, you'll end up with the Great Depression. <sighs> Instead of the dust bowl, you'll have the starch bowl. <laughs> oh, who's screaming? <laughs> oh, it's just the void. <laughs> he likes to scream back sometimes. One of our old employees who didn't work fast enough. <laughs> 
All right, up into the ceiling for you. Time to scream at the rest of them. Sometimes if you're quiet enough, you can still hear them. <laughs> oh, Let no, me you, out. It's hard to drown them out, man, honestly. <laughs> I swear it'll work faster. Hmm. You get me around for hmm. the marshmallow eggs later. Oh. If, if I can get to them. Hmm. If I'm not fast. I feel so dramatic every time we're doing these. <laughs> like everything is a steak. <laughs> no, they're eggs, Craig. <laughs> Telling you, we both probably got kids out there somewhere. Mm -hmm. As long as the tribunal of moms doesn't tell us, we'll never know. Yep. It's the council's greatest secret. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, yeah, some of the ones in the middle? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what it is. The middle ones are always the ones that collapse. It's a nice Atreya, as my dad would say. That's how you say it in Italian. I thought you were, I thought you were learning Spanish, not Italian. <laughs> Just remember that from high school? <laughs> what? That's a nice Atreya. Yeah, that's what my dad always says. He's like, oh, I can speak Italian. And he goes, oh, that's a nice Atreya. <laughs> I mean, his inflection is like perfect. <laughs> I mean, it, it makes sense that uh, like if uh, someone has an like, Italian accent and they end with like a vowel all the time because in Italian, you always end with vowels, yep. so you're used to it. Yep. I, I feel like that's part of the thing with romance languages too, is like, you're like pronouncing a vowel, but you're really not. You're really just like not cutting the end of a sound off, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know. Trey, yeah. Trey, yeah. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know exactly how to like articulate it, but it just feels like it's like the natural like end of like a word. Uh -huh. It's just like Americans are really good at cutting it off. <laughs> All Raspberry cream now. Um, You're gonna do that part, right? Yeah. Okay. I'll get the cream going for you. Okay. Doing some shots. At work. I gotta make sure my boss isn't watching. And you gotta make sure he is watching. How, yeah. how many shots am I doing? Two and a half. Woo! Just like at the bar. Isn't that just like just like raspberry? Mm-hmm. 
dead. Max doing shots at work again. Is he using the right glass? <laughs> oh, that's a little, a little more. Yeah, too much. Be a strong flavor. It's all right. Yeah, people typically don't complain. This tastes too much like what I wanted it to taste. Yeah, what the heck? Well, if there's uh, too much, uh, I mean, not that I thought there was like too much, because it's like pretty, it's like relatively ballpark, right? Huh? It's like relatively ballpark, right? Yeah, it's like, uh, you know, 0. 0.6 of a cup instead of 0. 0.5 of a cup. Yeah. So it should be fine. Yeah. Let's see, raspberry, this will have like a nice pink. See how that comes out. Look like little tadpoles. <laughs> They're swimming. The <laughs> yeah, they look like they're swimming. I don't know. Never to resurface again. <laughs> Never again. Hey, what's that? What the heck? <laughs> they changed colors. They went through their metamorphosis. Yep. Metamorphic tadpoles. <laughs> yeah, like butterfly and tadpoles. <laughs> <laughs> I like igneous tadpoles better. Uh, I'm not such a big fan of sedimentary tech. Oh uh, man, your jokes rock. <laughs> yeah, I have another go to geology pun, but I can't use it. Mm. Man, I'm telling you, we need smell vision. Yeah, well, we don't. The viewers <laughs> do. <laughs> Our channel needs smell vision. Yeah. My smell vision's working just mm. fine. You want to taste it to make sure? If I have uh -oh. to. Get a little chocolate. Oh there. no. Chocolate? It's not a, um, what's it called, like a chunk of the flavoring color? Oh, uh, you know what, it actually might be. I was thinking, uh, you know, we keep the aprons over the, over the kettle mm -hmm. when, you know, I'm storing them. And it was under the dark chocolate. Mm. Um, dark chocolate skin table, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it might just be. I did see that little flake come off the, you know, the yeah. color of the bottle, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Either way. Hmm. All right, that looks pretty well mixed. You're not seeing any more oil on the corners, are you? No. On the corners of this bowl. Yeah, right. <laughs> and, what would you call it? Like the edge, I guess. Yeah, right yeah. Here? I guess so. I know what you're talking about. Wow. Wow, make me feel bad, Greg. <laughs> Thanks. Yep. Yeah. Alrighty. I remember when English was my first language. <laughs> I wish I did. <laughs> there's just, there's so many words, you know what I mean? It gets hard to, like, remember them all. Alright. Sorry, sir. Let me move out of the way for you. Yeah, I'm just trying to do my job over here. Jeez. Well, I'm just trying to make your job harder, okay? Like, what's wrong with that? No, that's my job. <laughs> well, I wouldn't want to step on your feet, so. Oh, all right, almost got in that. Oh, I think we got a spam call right now. Oh, man. Yep, it says potential spam. Oh, that's kind of neat. Yeah. I paid two ninety nine a month for that. <laughs> I'll tell me if there's spam or it'll tell me who's calling, even if I don't have their number in my uh, in my phone. If oh, they're not cool. spam. Oh. Like Mr. Ferris called me before and it told me who it was. Although I didn't say Mr. Ferris, it said his name. <laughs> so. I was like, hello, Ferris. I knew it was you. The whole time. Was he like, how'd you know? <laughs> no, I think I just said hello. Uh -huh. <laughs> 
<laughs> you I, liar. I didn't want to weird him out, but I knew who it was when I was talking to him, though. Mm-hmm. I'm sure that made it easier. <laughs> mm-hmm. Also, he said, hey, Craig. Mr. Craig. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you know, man? <laughs> How'd you know who you were? <laughs> How can I trust you? How do I know that you're not lying? To find a way to do these faster. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. After yeah. a couple, you probably will get faster. It's been like, what, close to a year? 10, 11, 10 months or so since you've done this? Uh, yeah. I mean, Easter was kind of early last year, so I'm like trying to figure out. Mm. I don't know if that even makes a difference. Yeah, I think so. It's not like Christmas where it's like every 365 or 366 days. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's up with that? Why do you think? Leap oh, because they're. Oh, is that it? What? It was like like that. Certain holidays are fixed, but other ones. Oh like, yeah, like uh, Thanksgiving is usually the. Uh, this year wasn't Thanksgiving earlier or something like that or later. I think it's always the third Thursday. Yeah, but I thought someone said it was. Or I don't really pay attention to things, so I don't Unless know. Unless maybe they were messing with you. Um. <laughs> yeah, it's Thanksgiving today. Already. <laughs> um. But yeah, no, that's always the third Thursday. November, yeah, but then the Christmas is the 25th, mm-hmm. and I'm pretty sure that um, Easter has to be on a full moon or something like that. See, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Is like if it's if it's like a solstice holiday or not. Is that what I'm calling? Ah, something like that. I'm sure someone will tell us in the comments. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know. I never figured that out. Huh? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Did you ever take any holiday courses <laughs> in college? Not too many. Holidays 101. Just the introductory courses? Yeah. The ones that you need for the, uh, for the degree? Yeah. yeah for my know. kinesiology degree that I use to make candy videos. <laughs> well, I mean, if you need a kinesiology degree for candy videos, who, who's to say if you need to know about holidays or not? Mm-hmm. Yes. Kinesiology, that's what it means, right? Mm-hmm. Candy holidays. Candy holidays. Oh no, you got some stuff in my drip out of the funnel. Oh, you were right. Safe. Oh man, you are just like an empire. They were like safe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank God these guys aren't sliding in the hole, man. Yeah. Hmm. Right. I, I don't know if you've ever noticed either, but like the first one. Like the first funnel that you fill, it never drips. Hmm. And then after that, they all do. Kick it off the hinges. I'm telling you, you wouldn't think it would be so much different just like dropping a different shape. Yeah, it was a different size too. Yeah. And it just, it goes so quick or something, you know, it's like... Mm-hmm. Did we ever have you try these? I don't know if I tried these shapes, but I tried the cream. Yeah. Like, just normal, traditional cream shapes. You did pretty good, didn't you? No. I don't really? say that. I did not completely awful. If I that's didn't what destroy that. Yeah. No, I thought, I thought that they all came out pretty good. Like, maybe you weren't that fast. I mean, if you got a pretty low standard, then yes, I did great. <laughs> The best. Hey man, you fill the cup with cream, that's all you gotta do. <laughs> Alright, then I did great. <laughs> I killed it. Yeah. Yeah, after that it's just the speed, but uh it takes everybody a little while to get the speed, man. Yeah, the speed and then also not overfilling, not underfilling mm-hmm. and not um, collapsing the, the creams yeah. next to each other and stuff. Isn't it weird that like, you know, there's like oh wait, oh yeah, there's the color. Yeah. Yeah, you're definitely right. You can like see the color seeping out. Yeah. But uh Yeah, I don't know. You wouldn't think that you could like drop the cream too hard, but you can drop it too hard. Hmm. Candy surgery. Did you ever play Operation when you were a kid? Yeah, you can't turn someone's tongue red, Max. I know it. What be, the heck? What what would they do, man? With a red tongue, you look They'd probably so go weird. straight to the hospital. I know. Help, my tongue's red. <laughs> uh that was everyone else. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Did 
They'd be like, all right, uh, yes, it is. $40 copay, please. <laughs> so stoked for Easter yeah I'm getting excited man I can't wait to like start doing buddy molds and oh, I thought you were gonna say because it's gonna be over soon <laughs> <laughs> well I mean that's part of it but it's uh I was just telling these guys like I like having like a big list to work on and like you know what you're supposed to be doing how many numbers you need and mm -hmm. it's exciting Trying to see if you can't keep up with it you can probably ask my dad how many days are there? 51 not that yeah. I'm counting yeah well, this morning I was like, man, I don't know if we have seven weeks or eight weeks. And he's like, eight weeks. Eight weeks. I think he's got down to a minute, really. Yeah. Hey, Dad, how many minutes are left until Easter's over? How many minutes? Yeah. Dad, yeah, he said you got it down to the minutes. No, eight weeks. Eight weeks? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Eight weeks away, starting today. Yeah. Gives us enough time. Are you excited for it to all be over? Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> Very convincing. Yeah. After Easter, it's spring. Mm -hmm. So, that's good. <laughs> you know? So, that's good. Yeah. That's good. Uh, <laughs> How yeah. neat is that? So for people new to the channel, can you explain what you're doing and what this is? This is potato chip bark with all kinds of chocolate, of course. And then uh, just patting it down till it get, gets uh, cold. See, like right here, it's cold. Mm -hmm. Now I can't. Now, now I don't. Shiny. Now I don't have to touch it as much anymore. Now that it's getting cold, but like over here is still a little bit wet. Mm -hmm. So I got to keep touching it so that the cocoa butter keeps mixed will be mixed into the chocolate it won't rise to the top if it's a little bit warm mm -hmm. so when you do this at home you just do it until the chocolate get turns like this it's, it's, it's hardened up and then you can let go mm -hmm. there's always a space or an area that is uh, more liquid than the rest of it yeah it must be it's a little thicker here probably. Yeah. Wow. Good work, Dan. So you do that. this home with your kids, make sure you videotape it and send it to us. Yeah. <laughs> and Melissa, you're doing the snack clubs? Snack clubs, yep. You, you've done snack clubs before a couple times, right? Uh, yep. Covered the pretzel rods with peanut butter and then cool them off in the fridge. And then it goes into the next process, which usually um, your dad is doing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Joe, you're doing the pecan turtles? Yep. Uh, I guess I should go see what the girls are up to. No, we're giving Max a break. Hello. What you doing? Sugar free. Yeah. Well, like people ask about our sugar free candy all the time. Yeah. This is the dark. Mm -hmm. I have to get this at eight ounces. Whoa. Let's see. Um, do you, <gasps> exactly eight? Eight, yes. Uh, good. Uh, do you guys do anything other than just the chunks for the... No, just the just chunks sh right okay. now. Yeah. And then there you get ribbons on them. Wow. Then I gotta curl them. Mm -hmm. After I choke them. Mm. Can we see the choking and the curling? Real quick. I guess. Sheesh. All the way down is it okay? I think it's crying. This. This. Tie it. Like that. But then I have to double knot it to make sure that it's there. Tight. Mm -hmm. There you go. Gotta cut the end. Just like that. Fan this out. And then curl it. Whoops. Oh, you shoot two at once? Yeah, sometimes. Good. 
professional botologist. Oh, that one's all messed up there. I need to do three. And then this one might need a haircut. Mm -hmm. Yes. Get that off there. Okay. Lock it off. Add the chunks to cool it down a little more. Yeah. As you did in the puddle too. No, it's a, a little bit warm, so it's taking me a while to do so. I've got to cool it down so it can go faster. Yeah. And what temperature do you usually have to temper the ruby chocolate to? Uh, this one, I'll do the same at 82. 82? Yep. Is that the same as the, the vegan chocolate? Yeah, vegan chocolate you can do uh, 85 or less. Oh yeah, vegan chocolate a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, and then this one... Uh, Seems to be about the same as uh, regular chocolate 82. Mm -hmm. Right now it's, 80, it's 84. Mm -hmm. So it's got the same reaction. There's somebody in here telling me uh, they um, make their own candy as a hobby at home and that he got some ruby chocolate and he was using it. I was surprised. I wonder where he got it from. Yeah. Yeah, maybe, I wonder if you can just buy it from Calibo in small amount. Yeah. I mean, it took us months to be able to get it. Yeah. Did now he, now did he we say that recently. Yeah, just the other yes, yesterday or the day before, hmm. Saturday and Sunday, we had a lot of people coming in. Hmm. Maybe now it's more more available. Yeah, I mean, yeah, now we can get it all the time. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah, it is expensive though. Yeah, I remember hearing about it uh, before we even moved here. Yeah, and then we didn't even get it until like a year after being. Here. They, I uh, remember reading about it in the candy industry magazine for two years before they uh, made it available for everybody. So, was it just Calibo who? Yeah, who just Calibo. Yep. Right. And the process. All the chocolate and everything's a big secret. Yeah? They won't tell you anything. Huh. <laughs> big secret. Big candy industry. <laughs> this is cherries and um, ruby chocolate. Mm. And then I'm going to do cherries and almonds in a bar too. Yeah. yeah, I feel like fruit and nuts go really well with the ruby chocolate. I mean, I haven't tried it, but just <laughs> based off of what other people said about the ruby chocolate, it seems like it go really well. Yeah, because the, the ruby chocolate is kind of, has a touch of fruitiness as it is. Mm. So. It was, I was hurt. Instead of, let's see, like a no -no -no. Good morning. Feels like it. Uh, it's 85. <laughs> yeah. Still like three degrees warmer than you want to use. Yeah, yeah. probably should wait. Can't, you, you gotta be patient. Yeah. It's like you can't rush it. Back Otherwise, you'll regret it. Yeah. It was a little bit harder for things to spread out when uh, there's chunks in there, chunks of stuff. Yeah, it's getting cold. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, the warmer it is, the more mm -hmm. flowy it is. Is that the technical term that you guys use in the flowy? Flowy, that's a good one. Good. Cool.
Good work, Dad. I'm proud of you. Oh, it's a lot of snack clubs in there. Yeah, snack clubs. <laughs> Gotta do those today, too. Yeah. <laughs> Because uh, when you do snack clubs, they gotta be done the day that they're made, right? Yeah, they gotta be wrapped up right away because the potato chips could go stale if we left them. Yeah. We don't wanna do that. No. And has stale chips. That is El No Bueno. Yeah. Okay. But you didn't know I spoke French. Is that what it was? Yep. <laughs> I start all over again now. Well, this cools down the chocolate though, right? With yeah. The cherries. Yep. Every time you make clusters, the nuts or raisins or whatever you're using cools it down usually. Mm -hmm. How warm do you think it is? I think it's um, 86. Let's see. 82? Wow. Uh, is it just that one spot, you think? Yeah, it's just the thin thin spot. Yeah. That's good, though, brought it down because I did have a little bit of. I always try to leave a little chocolate on there and mm. then add to it so then it cools quicker. Yeah. This is 90 in here. Yeah. Then you're mixing 90 with like 82 degrees. Yeah, so then, uh, then it goes down quicker. And then the cherries too. Yep. Uh, have you done yeah. this before? You gotta think of these things. Mm -hmm. When you're king? When you're king. <laughs> How do you know all these things? Well, you gotta know these things when you're at the king. <laughs> I didn't vote for you. <laughs> oh, renegade. One day you'll be a professional, Dad. Won't throw any hope. Yeah. Don't fill his head with false hopes, Craig. Yeah. You know he won't. <laughs> yeah, he's been getting worse and worse. Food and beer rations <laughs> for the rest of his life. You know, the world needs ditch diggers. <laughs> world needs beer drinkers. <laughs> Beer's not going to drink itself. Yeah, I mean, really, dude. Those people, they put all that effort in making it. The least you can do is have a few. Yeah. Drink some beer. Yeah. Relax. Yeah. Oh, wait. I'm not recording it. Hold on. Uh, oh, no, I'm not kidding. I'm recording it. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I lost wait. count now. Gotcha. Uh, which one is this? Put the spoon in there. Seven. This isn't spoon flavored. It's a little spoon flavored. Oh. That's the secret ingredient. <laughs> spoon. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit. Oh man. The, oh, Just a little bit of spoon. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's the inside scoop. Wow, you're on fire right now, man. I I can't even keep up. Don't meddle with me. Whew. Uh, I need to get a better handle on this pun tournament. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I won that one. I know. I know when to call it quits. Wow. Yep, that's. Oh no! You actually put you the you actually put the confetti in here. Oh! oh no. Is that the shredded paper? <laughs> no. Oh, so I'm going to put the shredded paper in the coconut again. Yeah, we'll just put more coconut flavor in. They'll <laughs> yeah. never know. Yeah. I uh, just, this, uh... Does this taste... Tastes like paper? <laughs> yep. That's it right there. That's how you... 
done add some coconut. Mm -hmm. Didn't even need to add no flavor. Well, maybe a little bit of flavor. <laughs> maybe I did that part when you weren't looking. But is there actually a coconut flavor in there? Whoa! <laughs> well, I already okay. put it away, so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, there's uh, just three quarters of a shot. Just a little bit in there. And the actual coconut flakes. Too. Yeah, and then the real coconut. Wow. You're nuts. <laughs> um, cocoa in the... I forget how it goes. Loco in the membrane or something? Is that how you say Um. Now I can't think of it. Who are you messing with, S.A.? <laughs> Don't you know I'm Coco? <laughs> I'm Coco. <laughs> I love in McGruber. Um, uh, <laughs> there's one part where he said, like, um, that's loco, man. And it just says, that's crazy, man, <laughs> in the, in the subtitles. subtitles. <laughs> <laughs> like, like you have to put the subtitles on or that subtitle pops up? No, that up subtitle pops it, up like, no matter what. <laughs> it's, it, it's, a, it's the joke. They should have made more movies. I know. McGruber's my favorite movie of all time. What's his name? Is it Will Forte? Will Forte. I was like, is that Will Arnett? <laughs> no. Will Forte, Kristen Wiig, they're a great team. Mm. Were they both on SNL? Yes. Yeah. yeah that's where most of those funny movies come from. <laughs> All right. Moment of truth here. Will it drip? Oh, boy. Oh, so you're doing creams, you're not doing the cream eggs. Okay. No, I thought you were doing yeah. coconut eggs. I'm pretty sure your mom wants creams. Now, I'm, now I gotta go ask <laughs> it. it. It just says coconut on the list. Let's, yeah. uh, let's make sure. Yeah. Oh, from like, in your house or from? Yeah, probably. Yeah, okay, it says cream. I'm so oh, okay, go coconut ask. creams? I'm still gonna go ask. There's no price. Hey, you, you want coconut cream, not eggs, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> I mean, if you made eggs, July, it wouldn't be the end of the world. It's not like we can't sell them. Um, yeah. So, yeah, it is I'll, all cream. So I'll stick with the cream. It's not too much trouble. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you doing, Mom? Just pretending to get some work done? Um, I was actually just thinking about Max's mom. <laughs> <laughs> when I tell her what I did with my Instant Pot yesterday, mm. but uh, you probably don't want to know on this channel. No, never. Do you want People know? hate food. Okay, I make scalloped potatoes in the Instant Pot. You <laughs> slice your potatoes up thin, and you cook them in the Instant Pot on high pressure for one minute. Because <gasps> when the pressure is building, it's cooking mm -hmm. them. And then you take them out with a slotted spoon, and you put them in your casserole dish, and you put your sauce on top of them with your other stuff, and you put it under the broiler for five minutes. It's like... That's yeah, so quick. It's life-changing. So while the oven was cooking the other stuff, I was prepping the taters and I made a nice dinner. I've never left work at 5.30 on a Sunday in February, ever. No. So I'm, I'm starting to get my act together. I went home and made a nice dinner for your dad and I. He's still happy about it. Yeah. <laughs> He's still living I'll on the high. i about it. But um, uh, I'm getting ready for my taxes. Okay. <laughs> dinner was way more exciting yeah. than what I'm doing in here. Hmm. It's Robbie. So dad, how was dinner last night? Oh, it was awesome. <laughs> wow. How did I know that was going to be the response? Wow. It was great. What was it? It was turkey, gravy, and, and potatoes. The scalp potatoes? Scalp potatoes, yeah. yeah. Oh, Mom, Mom made like, one oh. of the turkey roasts? Huh? Mom made one of the turkey roasts? Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, it was great. I mean, no, she didn't. No, no. There's, well, none, so there's, there's none of that There's else. no leftovers. No, it's all gone. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's very convenient. The last night I just made some spaghetti. <laughs> okay, what's all the lumps doing in the canyons? Well, I decided to just do this one a little early. I didn't feel like waiting for it to melt. <laughs> it's only 24 hours in the day, Craig. Yeah. Oh, it just got like really loud in here. Yeah, it really did. Well, I think it's partially like a bunch of people just are in here right now. Yeah. Like Kara and Sam just walked in, they were both talking. Melissa and Joe were talking, and the TV's on. Yeah. <laughs> it's just weird. Most of the time you walk in there, it's like totally silent, you know? Mm -hmm. Except for a dad joke. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> and then a string more. All right, this is probably one of the more difficult coins to drop. Mm. Just a little, a little fun little factoid for you. Just for you, you guys. Have you better leave that The up proper stance. Go. Can you go? I can go lower. <laughs> Let's get back up. That's that's the problem. <laughs> that's what happens when you're 28. Huh? Yeah, yeah. And it's all down here. That's the problem. It's getting back up. Oh, uh. where's my cane? <laughs> yeah. It's it's really the diapers. That's what does it. When you get too low, you know, <laughs> you're a little bit more restricting. So. Mm -hmm. Wow. This is what it's like to be me. <laughs> <laughs> now you know. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to my life. I'm telling you, this is the only one like. When I first started, I'd have to like stop every couple of lines and like shake my hand out because you know, I'm telling you, man, from doing this over and over and over again, like it gets a little, a little repetitive. This is the only one where like it still kind of hurts. Mm. Hmm. You want to try? You could do the whole next try. Oh no. <laughs> nah, I wouldn't do that to you. The coconut's a little tricky. It kind of looks the coolest in there though. Yeah. I, think. I like that. I don't know. It kind of almost reminds me of like when you drive through a blizzard with the high beams on. Hmm. Yeah. And you'd think it helps, and then you turn it on, and you're like, whoa, I feel like that's worse. <laughs> I literally can't see anything. Yeah, because like the light's just like reflecting off the snow. But it looks super cool. Yeah. Wicked you dangerous. Thanks, man. Can you imagine uh, WSYR hitting you with a cease and desist? <laughs> like, that's our intellectual property. Did you see the spot from Friday? Uh, it's the other one with Brad in it. And then yeah. they did three spots though, right? Three I live new spots. I did not see it at all. This is like night and day with how fast you can go with this versus the eggs. Uh, honestly, as soon as you turn the camera off, I started flying with them. <laughs> yeah. Are you doing any more eggs today? No. Oh. no. We're, uh, we're doing the raspberry a little early because we have a guy who wants to order them now and it might get hot by the time Easter comes around, so we're just making them a little early. I hope it gets hot by the time them. Easter comes around. That'd be <laughs> great. Wouldn't it? I gotta tell you, doing the coconut creams, it always makes me think of like suntan lotion. Mm -hmm. Make me think of summer all morning. <laughs> And going from here to Ethiopia, mm. back to here, I'm like, man. <sighs> Two more months. <sighs> that was going to be longer than that, too. Yeah. We really had a super mild winter this year, you know? Yeah. Like, usually in February, it's like our, our sub-zero temps, you know? But mm -hmm. uh, Well, the other day, it was like, what, three degrees or something? <laughs> I only saw, like, 14. <laughs> like, 11, 14. Did it get that cold? I got in the single digits, I'm pretty sure. Like, yeah. I walked, out, walked outside, and I was like, whoa, it's cold. Yeah. Like when you're you're like walking around and like uh, you can like smell Freon, you know. Yeah, I uh, I walked outside today and it was like 28 degrees. I was like, wow, this is like nice. Yeah, <laughs> and it's weird too that like we'll get used to this like 28, 30, mm -hmm. and then when it's 40, you'll be ready for shorts. But then like, you know, after all summer, August comes around and it'll be like 65, and I'll be like, whoa, where are my pants? <laughs> Just get so gung ho for. It's springtime. Yeah, just get used to whatever it is. Yeah. You were the one that told me, right? You get acclimated to like the heat way quicker than the cold or something? Yeah, so with the cold, your body doesn't really go through any actual changes. It's it's mostly like psychological changes oh. that you're like, oh, I'm just used to this. Huh. Um, whereas like uh, with heat, 
uh, you, it takes like three weeks for your body to fully acclimate to eat. Um, so say you're like a soccer team and you're going to like a big tournament and it's in a much hotter climate, you're going to want to get there like a month ahead of time. Otherwise, mm-hmm. like, you know, if it's really screwed with you. Yeah. Cause it's like physiological changes then? Or like yeah. Yeah. Like wow. your, your body, I, I forgot exactly the changes cause it's been a while since I took my exercise physiology class, but it was, it was something with like probably like producing more sweat or something or like you, I don't know. I don't know really exactly what it is, but. Shocked like actual changes that are like yeah. measurable and that quick too, you know? Yeah, like it takes about three really weeks fast. for it to fully acclimate. Yeah. I'm shocked that there isn't anything for the cold then, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, well, I don't know. I mean, the like, humans are traditionally, I think, uh, like warm weather creatures. Like, you know, we basically all came from Ethiopia. Oh, though. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I saw Lucy and Artie when I was in. Are uh, you serious? Yeah, yeah. That's awesome, man. Yeah, not a whole lot left of them, just little oh, bits yeah? and pieces of their skeletons. They're like in a museum somewhere or something? Yeah, like? it, it was the Ethiopian National Museum. Mm-hmm. I went there. There was a lot of cool stuff there. A lot Dude, of beautiful paintings awesome. that they have there. Wow. That's an experience. Yeah, it was fun. Grandma? <laughs> Is that you? <laughs> <laughs> All right. One more funnel. Now, why did they call her Lucy? Is there mm. is there a play on words or something that goes with that? I don't know. Cause I think the reason they called Artie Artie was because there's like the the human um, ancestor, whatever it was called. Like the Latin name was something uh, Artie, whatever. Hmm. Artropithecus. Or yeah, something like that. Hmm. Okay. Unless I just read that wrong on the well, Ethiopian right. uh, thing. Oh, and if it's fresh in your mind from that, yeah, I gotta yeah. believe. Yeah, because they have. There's actually a lot of English uh, in um, in Ethiopia. Like everything's okay. like mostly in Amharic. Um, like their alphabet is much different. Um, but there's a lot of uh, like restaurants that have English signs. Um, there's like Seven Lounge. There's uh, there's one that was called. It looked like it was uh, called. Uh, Club Seven Eleven, and like it looked like Seven Eleven. The, the logo did, yeah, but <laughs> oh. but it was sped, spelled Elvine. The seven Club Seven, seven Elvine. Elvine. <laughs> yeah, so I think that's how they got away with a like, copyright. <laughs> Selvine Elvine. Yeah, and that's in uh, Awasa, Ethiopia. Oh man, that's awesome. Yeah. How did you guys not hang out there all the time? Oh, we did once. <laughs> did they serve slushies? <laughs> Dude, that would be like that's the thing. Yeah. But I'm kind of surprised. I mean, are there 7-Elevens in Ethiopia? No, Cause, no, yeah, so who sorry. would even get the reference? I, I, I don't know. Maybe if, <laughs> because a lot, of, a lot of people have seen, like, American movies there. Uh, I'm just thinking, like, people from there wouldn't know what 7-Eleven is. Yeah. And people from here would be like, why would I want to go to Club 7-Eleven? Yeah, like, like so. I, I actually saw that, and I was like, oh, could I get, like, a calling card there? And then he was like, <laughs> no, that's a club. I was like, no, no it's not. I was like, no, no, it's not. Club Walmart. And then like, like, we went in there. I was like, what the heck? I just got a Club 7-Eleven. And then like a couple days later, I was looking at the picture that I took of the sign because I thought it was hilarious. I was like, oh, oh it says 7 L B. Oh, man. Traveling abroad. I'm telling you, you're selling it, man. You're <laughs> selling it. You have to do snack clubs. Well, every couple of weeks. Yeah. Maybe every two to three weeks. Mm-hmm. Melissa, are you the designated peanut butter dipper? I am. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. People are probably watching thinking, why don't you just dip it in the chocolate? Mm-hmm. Well, the reason you can't is because i got to make sure it's the right temperature still. Yeah. And then you don't want to get the peanut butter in the chocolate too. 
Right, yeah. That's why you don't just dip it. Yeah, because it could come off. Yeah, it come off pretty easily. Yep. <laughs> the chocolate's a little warmer than the peanut butter, and it could loosen it right up. Mm. Mm hmm I don't want to chance it. Mm -hmm. How's that look? Looks pretty good. I would eat it. You know, if it was being chocolate. It'd be a great TV show. Mm. I'd eat that. Yeah. Yeah. I would eat it. <laughs> he never sits down to eat though, he just walks by like, oh, I'd eat that. Yeah. He just keeps walking. I would eat that. I would eat that. I would eat that. <laughs> Not a whole lot of things I wouldn't eat. How long have you guys been doing snack club for? Uh, I was back at the house, uh, back at the old place, uh, the last last couple of years before that. So this is going on our, a year here, over a year, so it's like three, four years ago. Hmm. Yeah, I think it was uh, a viewer mentioned it or something, or mom was talking about it or something. I know it was when we started the YouTube channel, so yeah. it shouldn't have been too long, maybe three years ago? Yeah. Yep. Well, actually, we did we did these you know, uh, without the peanut butter. We though. did that before. Yeah, but we only just started doing the peanut butter. How long have you guys been doing it without the peanut butter? Yeah, we did that for uh, quite a few oh. years. Yeah, just pretzel rods, yeah, chocolate, yeah. And potato chips. Yep. The addition of peanut butter, though. <laughs> It's six o'clock. They're like, we out of here. <laughs> yeah, you know what else left me? The Valentine's candy. Yeah, that's all that's left. That's yeah. all that's left? By the time yeah. you see this video, you know what'll be left? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Big zero. Yeah. Yes. People are, um, they don't get too many chances to buy half price Hercules candy, so yeah. they uh, snap it up pretty Are there quickly. a lot of regulars who will come in like the day after holidays because they know? Heck yeah. They know how it works? Yes. Some people will do that. For Easter, because Orthodox Easter is usually after um, like regular Easter, mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, but sometimes it doesn't work out. So if we had a sellout, it's like eh, we don't have anything for you, but you can yeah. order it. Yeah, you can, you can special order it and pay full price, then we can get it for you. But uh, yeah. other than that, mm. nope. You snooze, you get no bunnies. Mm. That's how the old saying goes. Yeah, you snooze, you get no bunnies. I mean, it doesn't rhyme. It'd be better if it did rhyme, but that's mm -hmm. the saying and not up to me yeah so you guys have the, the store pretty well stocked after valentine's day i wouldn't say that halfway stocked yeah we're shows, just halfway there. real real quick yeah, before we get back to your taxes sure oh yeah there's actually yeah, not very much left on the other side right yeah the other side is kind of, kind of empty which is what i like about these tables is because when this is full we can pull it out and fill it up it's like oh there's nothing left there we go just hide that because mm -hmm. we'll be filling it up with bunnies before you know it but yeah, yeah. this is all valentine's stuff I leave the display up for a couple of days because there's still um, folks that haven't seen the Valentine yet. So I, those are just empty heart boxes, so we could still leave those up. Same with the these Valentine uh, lids. Mm. People were still buying them today. Um, this is fairly well stocked up, our turtles, mm -hmm. except for the milk chocolate ones. But Joe was working on the centers all day today, so tomorrow he'll enrobe them. So we'll get the turtles stocked back up. 
Clusters get hit pretty hard for every holiday. Yeah. All along in here. Mm -hmm. So that's what your dad's been working on today. And actually today he was working on the vegan, or not the vegan, the ruby, ruby stuff. Yeah. So did you film that? Yeah, yeah, a little bit of the candy bar stuff. So, mm -hmm. yeah. so yeah, hopefully we'll get that on the uh, shelves pretty soon. The funny thing about that is that Ruby has still not made it out into the store yet. Hmm, it's yeah. the only got, <laughs> that's the only thing we've ever sold that's basically been online only because mm -hmm. there's such a backlog of people that want it that um, I just put it on the website and watch it get sold and go, okay, sorry local people, what they don't know won't hurt them. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I guess we're, we're getting there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Halfway good shape. Better than like last year after any oh, holiday, yes. really. Yes. Last year was quite a challenge every mm. holiday. So mm -hmm. this year we knew more of what to expect and mm -hmm. uh, we adjusted and we've got the, the new Enrober is um, working better. So we're, we're learning its quirks. So we're getting there. I left here last night. I think I already told you on the video. I left mm. here at 5.30 last night on a Sunday. Yeah. Never. I haven't done that in decades, even when we were living and working in the same place. Because mm -hmm. I'd come home from my second job and have to take care of the emails, print out orders, blah, blah, blah. And before you know, it, ah, it's 10 o'clock, huh? Time to go upstairs. You would say you're significantly more busy now than back then? Yes. Just Well, you guys do have quite a few more employees and then also yes, the second do. in Rober. Oh, yes. And then Max is very well versed in candy now. He really is. And Joe too. Mm-hmm. Let's not forget Joe. Mm-hmm. Just because he's not on camera right now. <laughs> Let's not forget him. Gone but not forgotten. Gone for the day, but not forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> home with his kids. He's in a better place. He's in a at better home place with his right kids. Now. It's a lot better than here, I'm sure. Probably eating dinner. You're right. That is a better place. <laughs> All right. Okay. Should I let you go back to tax world. Yes. Let me go wallow in my taxes. I can't wait till they're over, because then it's just a big sigh of relief, and then <laughs> maybe I'll leave at five thirty next Sunday. Wow. <laughs> what will I make for dinner? I don't know. I guess I'll just let you keep walking slowly yeah. backwards beep, to your office. Beep! Beep! Should I go through a wall? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>